Hi again, Golden Flashes fans. I'm Ty Linder with this week's edition of the KentStateSports.com Flashback. Busy times for the Kent State men's basketball team. Before a huge sellout crowd, Kent State fell 57-53 right here at the MAC Center to the Cleveland State Vikings. And then taking six days off due to the Thanksgiving holiday, the Golden Flashes struggled a little bit to find their rhythm in the first half against Louisiana. But in the end, a very, very solid defensive effort holding Louisiana to one point over the game's final minutes helped put a 76-67 victory into the win column for Rob Senderoff's Golden Flashes. Kent State continues the early season five game homestand with a matchup Thursday night against Moorhead State at 7 p.m. And then the homestand concludes on Saturday night when UAB comes to town. Kent State will be looking to avenge losses to both of those teams last season. Golden Flashes women's basketball team trying to get rid of the jet lag from a trip to Arizona over Thanksgiving when Kent State lost a one point affair to Utah Valley State out in Flagstaff 46 to 45. Then the turnover bug reared its ugly head in a 72 56 loss to host Northern Arizona. So now back in the friendly confines of the Mac Center, Kent State will take on the St. Bonaventure Bonnies tonight at the Mac Center, 7 o'clock. 330-672-2244 for tickets. See Bob Lindsay's 2011 Golden Flashes. Next week, Kent State goes to Philadelphia for a single standalone game against the Temple Owls. It was win number one at home for Kent State's wrestling team, 22 to 15 over the Edinburgh Fighting Scots. Took place right here at the Mac Center, a matinee wrestling match for the Kent State Golden Flashes. Key wins in the early weights for Kent State and a dominating performance over our guests from Pennsylvania. Kent State will now pack its bags and head west to the prestigious Cliff Keen Las Vegas Invitational coming up this weekend from Nevada. The late season surge by Darrell Hazel's football squad finally came to a close last week at the hands of the Temple Owls as the flashes fall 34-16 at Lincoln Financial Field. It was a good first half for Kent State, but just not quite able to take advantage of opportunities the Owls presented with them. In the end, though, Kent State rallies from a 1-6 start to finish at 5-7 and, and hopefully give the program some momentum into the offseason, which includes recruiting and spring practice. And finally, it's your first look at this year's gymnastics squad in the annual Blue Gold Intrasquad Meet. It's coming up on Friday night right here at the Mac Center, and admission is free. The Golden Flashes will open the season against Western Michigan in Kalamazoo on January 15th, 2012. This has been the KentStateSports.com Flashback. I'm Ty Linder. Go Flashes!